Hello, tubers and tubettes. I am Turbo the Tech Nerd, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to punch in on your video like this and how to do a smooth time zoom like this using any of the ATEM Mini video switchers while using a prime lens or any other lens for that matter. Let's get turbocharged, shall we? <laughs> The ability to zoom or punch in with a prime lens is actually impossible, except when you're editing. A prime lens is simply a lens that has only one focal length. In other words, you can't zoom. You could zoom by using a big giant zoom lens, but you risk jarring or shaking the camera. You could also use the remote for your video camera, but it looks a little silly when you point a remote at the camera you're using. And it's just unreliable and not really very consistent in the speed. You just don't need a giant lens like this to get an acceptable zoom. And I'm going to show you how you can do it while you're doing a live stream to make two cameras look like four cameras. I will also give you some ideas how to use this to your advantage and where it really shines. And as you watch this video, please remember to follow all the steps so you don't miss anything and have to start over again. The ATEM Mini Pro, Mini Pro ISO and Extremes are very powerful tools, so the steps become extremely important. All right, now that you have your switcher software open, we are going to go ahead over here to the upstream key. And that's where everything is going to take place, right here in the upstream key. So my fill source is going to be uh, this camera that you see on the screen right now. And we're going to set everything to position one and uh, position zero on your X axis, your Y axis also zero. And on your size, you're going to be at one and one. And that's going to give you a full screen. So one to one ratio. So the next thing you want to do is click the on air button so that you can see the changes that you're making as you make them. So now as we increase the size, you should see the zoom come in. And we'll zoom in for this one. We'll just make it nice and tidy like this. And we'll move it down a little bit. And that should be in the center. That's going to be the final zoom. And in this one, we're going to do like a, a, a jump in or a, uh, the name will come to me eventually. But it's not coming to me now. But we're going to punch in. That's the name. All right, so those are the settings that you're going to need to punch in. Now, what you want to do is after you've set that uh, to where you want it to zoom, we're going to go back over to the software here, and we're going to have a look. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to set that as keyframe A. And that's going to be underneath border, and then you'll see keyframe here. You'll see it. Uh, I'm circling it here with the mouse. And... Uh, we're going to go zero seconds because that's going to be our punch in speed. So let's set it to A and then we're going to run A and then we're going to go back to full screen. So you can see as I press A and then back over to full, you'll see that that punches it in and out. Now, if we want that zoom to take place over a period of time, for example, then we can easily do that using the exact same procedure. We can leave everything, in fact, exactly as it is. And we can now just change that rate. Let's try five seconds because we don't really want this to be too long. And we'll set this as B. And now we'll run to B, and I didn't do it right. Oh, running to A. So A is going to push in like this. And when you go back to full, it's going to slowly punch back out or zoom back out. Now, I'm not using any special lenses or anything. I'm just using the lens that's attached to my camera. I am not doing anything with my camera whatsoever. And that is how you use a zoom and a punch on an ATEM Mini series. This will work on the ATEM Mini Pro, the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, the Extreme series. It may even work on the ATEM Mini 
non-pro, non-ISO. Um, but you'll know as soon as you get into your menu whether or not this is the one that's going to work for you. And I've got a host of other videos on the ATEMS if you want to have a look right over here. Or you can simply press the subscribe button right there if you just like to get notified when I have more new videos coming out. We definitely appreciate the new subscribers and we hope you'll join us for more on Turbo the Tech Nerd.